Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if this is your first time. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about a question that comes up a lot, which is contracts. Okay, the purchase and sale contract, the assignment contract, contingencies, um, and all that good stuff. Okay, so one of the main things that I recommend wherever you are is that you link up with an experienced real estate attorney okay not just any attorney okay and not an attorney where it's their first rodeo okay you want an experienced real estate attorney because what we do our business is very creative so you need an attorney who has the experience and knows how to be creative as well okay because I know when I first started and I was consulting with some attorneys I mean I basically was telling them how to do everything and I paid them a $500 consulting fee, you know, for when it should have been the other way around. So, you know, just because every, just like anything else, every attorney is not, is not created equal. Okay. Some are better than others. Some of them are lazy. I mean, you, you want to get one that's really going to work for you. One that's creative, one that is experienced in real estate. Okay. Where you can find them is at your local RIA meeting. Um, a great, great, great source is biggerpockets.com because there's a lot, of, it's in a big investors forum. And there are a lot of investors. Someone definitely could refer you to a good attorney um, that can review your contracts for your state and make sure that they're on point for your state. Okay. So I recommend that to anyone, you know, so, you know, just do that. It's, it's in your best interest just to do that. And it's not going to cost you a bazillion dollars to do it. So get that done. Okay. So now. With the purchase and sale agreement, the, you have to make sure that you put your name, your business name, and then and or assigns after your name or business name. That allows the contract to be assignable. Okay, I know with I with bank contracts, if you're you know doing REOs, they don't even allow you to assign it, which is why you have to do a double close. But generally, if you just use the and or assigns that makes it assignable but some contracts I know the New York State contract has verbiage in there I believe if mem I, th I think it's line 26 that says it's not the contract is not assignable so you want to make sure that whatever contract you have it doesn't say that it's not assignable and if it does cross it out okay so you want to have your and or assigns okay and then your assignment contract is basically just saying, you know, is solidifying your fee, locking in your fee between you and the buyer, that you're selling them the contract, that they are going to execute everything in that contract that you um, created with the seller, and then you're going to get paid your fee upon closing. Okay? Um, and then your purchase and sale agreement, you know, there are really, there are a ton of contingencies that, contingencies that you could use. But um, just keep it simple. You know, you could do contingent upon partner approval um, and then contingent on an, an inspection, okay? And the partner approval, you know, you could do that for whatever, 10 days or, you know, just so you have time to get out of it, okay? Um, what else do I want to tell you? I think that's pretty much it. I mean, just don't get hung up on contracts, okay? Um as long as you have, you could have peace of mind as long as you have an attorney look at your contracts. I would just say, do that for your own peace of mind if you're concerned about that. And then after that, it will never be a worry. Okay, you'll never question it again. You'll never worry about it again. It's done and done. You'll send your contracts out. You know they're good to go. Okay, so, okay, so that was that. And then I wanted to tell you that if you want simple contracts, um, I could send you a simple purchase and sale contract and a simple assignment contract, okay? So in order to receive that, though, of course, it's a give and take. Um, you, I ask you to subscribe to my page and then leave a comment, you know, to tell me to send you your contracts. And then I'll send you the contracts. You know, they're going to be simple contracts. You could have an attorney look at them and then tweak them out to your state or what you need or, you know, based on the deals, you know, you may need to add addendums to them. So, um, that's really it. So hope that was helpful.
contracts. I know contracts, people get really stuck on contracts sometimes. Um, and, you know, rightfully so. It's a, it's a serious agreement. So, but like I said, as long as you have the attorneys, check that out. And then you have that peace of mind. You have your contingencies in there so you could get out of it. And you are good to go. Okay, don't overcomplicate it. Don't overthink and rethink and then rethink and then be paralyzed and not do anything because you should be getting contracts. Okay, so with that said, have a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, subscribe to my page and leave a comment if you want me to send you your contracts. And um, if you're interested in mentoring, I offer that. You can email me, which I'll put that below. It's only for action takers. If you're not willing to take action, you're not going to be successful anyway. So um, if you want some guidance and help, email below. I'll be more than happy to speak with you. And happy signing, babies. Have a good day. Jennifer West Granahan. Peace out.